all right so what is going on today youtube we're going to be going in with some sub terrors because why not why not go in with some sub terrors it feels good to go in with some sub terrors let's see what we can actually do now i did start um but for some reason uh G guru just couldn't work for some reason guru just didn't work uh, i don't understand it i mean i guess but it just it just didn't work now are we going to get are we getting it today are we getting it today because i feel like we are oh, we're not getting it today fantastic that's actually pretty good um what we can do is uh we could definitely instant fusion hopefully we don't run into a what's it uh, probably should have normal some of this nope um yeah we can get out a rajin so then we can normal summon this oh wait what does this do it's flip face up you can spell summon this card all right so bam we're gonna send what do we want to do because we're gonna have to tribute something to get this terra tray out but i want it to be actually something good um hmm this is a nine so we have to send something that is level nine wait what does he not play what is going on does this man not oh my god we got to change this deck he don't play the, the one that draws two that's crazy good um so where's the one that sends to the graveyard that's that one no nope, can't do that um wait where's the nine what am i doing this is the eight there is the nine um i guess we can do this all right be right back so now I feel stupid. I, I just realized why I couldn't send a level 10 is because uh, you have to tribute, you know, you have to tribute to uh, do all that. Um, okay, well this is, this is actually pretty decent. Now this is cheated, so. Oh, that's why, okay. Well, I thought you could just use this card during your first turn, but you need another sub terror so that being said let's start off with the instant fusion um ugh, fuck it's always a max c man it's always a funky max c god i knew i should just normal summon the, the sub terror guru or something like that we're just gonna book itself um, then we're gonna normal summon i guess this yeah we're gonna normal summon this because we can chain that effect right does this have to book it i think it does uh, but it's okay because yeah we could send and then tribute to bring out one of them and then gravekeepers commandant um hmm i don't even think i want to do that do i actually want him to do that wait so i don't need to change this to defense position let me see I, I i'm probably gonna i know i'm probably wrong on this but i don't know if i have to actually change this card to defense position um so let's see i'm gonna activate you and then chain this so let's see if it works um because it says you send and then target a sub terror i control which i did negate the activation then change the target to defense position so most likely this is not this is not going to work so then we're gonna get this right there and then oh it actually does work wow i didn't think that would work i really didn't think that would work okay that's it's completely fine because like i said we can oh then never mind this doesn't pop spells and traps this only pops monsters and he had double commandant i can't can't beat that but it's going to be okay because i can just banish a monster and this would uh Royal Tribute. Wow, you, you why do you play Ash? What do you, What? So let's do this. Yep, and yep. So even though we probably can't because Yeah, okay, they you play <laughs> That's what you get, bro. Like you you're just you're playing a whole set of dumb stuff for no reason. Um bam, so activate yeah, we wanna activate uh what's the name? Alright, there we go. All right, here we go. Game, uh, what, three? Because nobody wants to continue playing against sub -terrors. Uh, So let's see what we can actually... Oh, okay, this hand is actually pretty... Oh, no, this is a level eight. It's not a level nine. Jesus Christ, that kind of sucks. Um, Wait, what? There's a... 
Oh, when a face up monster you control. But that's fine. We have this, which is the greatest one. This is the card you always need. This you just need this. Which is just this is just what you need, folks. This is exactly what you need. Uh, level 10. Alright, there there we go. That actually works out in our favor. So we're gonna just go ahead and do this. Special that right there. Then proceed to go into battle and, and attack it. No need to do anything. God and Ariande. Okay, that's completely fine. Go ahead. Oh, he has an honest in his hand also. That's cool. Um, I guess we're going to get Uma Strix. If, if I'm not mistaken, he's not played Level Eater. He's played Glow Bulb. He does play Glow Bulb, but he doesn't play Level Eater. So, um, I think I'm going to set the Uma Strix because this gets Counter Trap. So that's kind of going to be a problem. It looks like he's playing the new Counter Fairy deck. Um, but at least I know what trap he gets. So he has to pick something that's cool. Um, even with that, uh, do I play any more Prediction Princesses? I absolutely don't. This only gets it from the... Well, I'm going to give you a warning. Because that's... Oh, it's going to give you a warning. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't understand why you even pick those choices, but I guess, I, I, I just don't understand it. Yes, in phase, absolutely. Special summon one monster, and then, what does this say? Change one set scepter to attack. Oh, okay. No need to chain that. Um, I'm going to set this, and then we're going to activate Tar Tray. Change this to faced up. We're gonna activate this and we're going to send um hmm. I think Subterra Nemesis Warrior? Because then then we could send what is this? This one. Yeah, we're gonna send Warrior for right now. See and then we could we could book this and then flip it. And then get both of you, you guys see where I'm going with this. Um, sadly, prediction prediction ritual does not protect or special summon ritual summon from the graveyard, so that kind of sucks. But <clears throat> it's going to be all it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right, folks. Playing against uh, this deck, so worst case scenario, I would tribute Tower Tray because if I tribute Tower Tray. Then uh, if I tribute if I tribute Tower Tray, I should have gave him Strike actually. But if I tribute Tower Tray, I would have two sub terrors. Actually, I could special summon Umatrix also, so I, I would have three. I definitely should have gave him the Strike. I wasn't really thinking that far ahead. Okay, Angel of Minerva that does not do anything. Everything's going to activate in the end phase, so. All right, there we go. So what we're going to do is going to book this young man. No need to chain. And then we're going to activate you. Oh, wait. I'm going to face up monster. You control his flip. Oh, damn it. Okay. Change the face up. Might as well go and attack. Activate that, activate that. So one and two. So just in case he does have something, we can stop it. Subterra Nemesis Warrior brings out. We can send the Glow Bulb. He, no, no, we don't send Glow Bulb. We send. Send the Kraken. And then we act. Oh, wait, we did. Oh, we could have sent Glow Bulb. Yeah, we didn't need to do that. Well, wait, what? Send one step to our tribute. And if you do, sp oh, damn it. See, so, yeah, we wasn't supposed to do all that. I don't even play two either. That sucks. Uh, <laughs> that actually hurts. That actually, actually fucks everything up right now. Um, That sucks. Hmm. Guess we could just send Guru? And we have to tribute this now. All right, yeah. So we 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 messed up badly. We messed up badly, folks. So, what does this do? Um, add one 
from your graveyard to the hand. Okay, so you can activate this, change the face up defense because he has a warning that we know of. So if he has the if he has a different dark bribe, okay, well that's that's actually really cool because we know he has warning. He can't warning this effect. So change monster to face up attack position. Activate. Wait, why can't this work? Oh, Behemoth. Okay. So we're going to add another battle. And activate this. Just going to see if he wants to negate. There we go. Alright. So now what we can do is we could. Oh, wait. No, he can activate this, huh? So now what we can do is just book this and Guru itself. And yeah, we can book Guru and itself. So we book this and itself. Wait, what? When a face up monster you control split face down. Oh and I could ah damn it, it's always this card. Um oh, we can just run it over, huh? See I I'm always messing up, man. I, I thought I was doing good. I, I'm keep messing up. You have an honest? I don't know what that's gonna do. Honest isn't getting you nowhere, sir. Um, it's gonna set this and this is only once per turn, correct? Yeah, so we can't can't keep doing it, so um absolutely. And we're gonna actually special summon the Psych Kraken. Because uh this is gonna be the key to our victory because he won't be able to set, so yeah. And that's the problem with counter fairies in itself. Like I said in a previous video, I was actually going to play this deck, but it just, it just was not going to work. Um, so yeah, let's just change the monster to face down defense position, which is that. Yeah, this is just not going to work out. Sadly, Prediction Patrol cannot protect Tower Trade, so... That sucks. If it did, man, we would have been all good in the hood, but we can't. So in phase, we're gonna activate final battle. Change the face up. Bam. Activate. Activate. One and two. Just to play around the back row. Even though we don't need to. And then special summon this. And oh uh, there we go. Alright, be right. All right, so even though I did mess up, we did get a victory. So that that is pretty cool. All right, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, hopefully, in the next duel, we can actually get some more stuff popping off. Um, but yeah, besides that, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Stick around because in a couple of more hours, we're going to get another duel going, and let's hope that we can get a better one and we can do some more subterra stuff because this deck is really fun. And if you haven't picked them up, you should probably pick up a subterra core. Because you never know what Konami might do.